Hello everyone, welcome to the GOE Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the GOE Ecologist. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing our channel because we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography on our channel, the GOE Ecologist. Also, if you are new to this channel, you should go to the playlist section to look into what we have published already. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the environmental issues in regional planning. Now remember, in environmental geography also, we have talked about certain themes, certain topics related to the same. So some points you can also correlate with environmental geography in this particular lecture. So let's start the lecture. But before before we go ahead, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the like button and also please press the bell icon so that whenever we upload a video, you get the update. So now let's discuss the various environmental issues, problems, challenges in regional planning as we know. So post industrial revolution, roughly if you take this time period of 1750 in the world, post 1750 till present, what have we done in terms of industrialization and the pollution related to it and its environmental impact. This is very significant in today's topic that we are doing is the environmental issues in regional planning. So if you observe post industrial revolution, environmental Environmental dimensions were neglected and more focus was on economic development. So here the balance between economy and ecology debate again comes to the picture, right? So it has been seen through experience and proved through experience as well that environmental dimensions of development cannot be ignored. If we really want development, we need to take care of environment parallelly. That's how sustainable development concept comes into the picture. So in long run, environment together with development or we say hybrid development is going to be the future. So look into this. This is the flow diagram which talks about the overlapping nature of these particular things in regional planning. So social dimension, then you have economic dimension, then you have environmental dimension and when they come together, remember in their overlaps they are bearable equitable and viable and then they become sustainable part of this development so to attain this sustainable development goals what we need to do is address these particular environmental issues of regional planning so let's look into it that what are these various dimensions so regional planning or regional planning and development involves several environmental problems if you observe carefully so let's look into the list the first one is resource related problems now remember the entire economic geography the entire resource geography the world development is concentrated somewhere or the other related to resource concentration in the world and especially in the beginning of 19th century and 20th century, this resource concentration mattered a lot. So we have locational theory, locational analysis of industries. Remember Weber's industrial location talking about the factors of production. So coal, forest resource, over exploitation of marine resource, all these we have been talking all through environmental debates. So what happens? There is a problem in, of land degradation. There is a problem of landslides. Then we have problem of agroclimatic conditions change and also leading to marine pollution, ocean dumping, oil seepage and several others related to this. Now let's look into the other one the agricultural related environmental issues now agriculture is necessity for human beings and its surplus led to urbanization but also it has a problem side what is it there is urgent need for sustainable development of agriculture why because agricultural in terms of mechanization and also the new variety of seeds alongside fertilizer usage has led to land degradation in many parts of the world see example of green revolution that has led to land degradation of soils in Punjab and Haryana so we say this is the problem side of green revolution. This needs to be taken care. Then if you observe further, industrialization and environment. Now remember, any industry has a carbon footprint as we have discussed earlier also. And water pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, urbanization, deforestation are directly or indirectly linked to industrialization. So this comes as the third important problematic pillar. Then 
hydrology remember the water regime fresh water and marine water so hydrology and environmental problems are the fourth important point if you observe so construction of dams submergence of vegetation displacement of local population and many times flash floods due to construction activities this is very important then what we observe is urbanization and environmental problems now remember being urban being urban in lifestyle is today's world where we are heading towards but at what cost? So remember deforestation, urban heat island, pollution, emergence of slums and several others are related to it. So this is the flip side of it, the darker side of urbanization that is what we are talking here and it's a major challenge for regional development policy planners, right? Then what we observe is population explosion, environmental problems. So population explosion and population policy, we have been discussing in population geography as well and here in terms of the environmental issues also, if number of heads are more, number of people are more, they'll definitely have more impact over the environment. And remember over exploitation of resources, then man animal conflict, deforestation and several others are required to be looked into. So holistic policy has to be made. Then what we observe is engineering works, construction related environmental problems. So constructions of dams, tunnels, roads, buildings and many times non-engineered constructions which are non-scientific constructions lead to a lot of problems. Every year we see in Indian monsoon that foothills of Himalayan region have a lot of landslides and many buildings go washed. Many people have constructed their houses within the catchment area of river and when flood comes there is a problem. So these kind of construction related activities are also the challenges for us. Then what we observe is the environmental issues involved because of faulty regional planning. So the planning that exists already is it fine or is it faulty? So that's where the challenge is to correct the faults. So agriculture, we already know chemical fertilizers and pesticides are a problem. Then river projects, construction of big dam and diversion of river water have ecological issues and challenges. Disposal of untreated waste or sewage, mining in hilly areas and silting of river, deforestation, overpopulation and then wrong city designing we say because many times the city is expanding which is not planned, unplanned and then we regularize the city. So that also leads to the problem and then unplanned migration. So because of these challenges, especially in developing countries where only cities are being developed, rural countryside is still underdeveloped, migration chain also leads to overload of the city. And when there is overload of the city, obviously city environment gets polluted from all dimensions. So if you observe air pollution, water pollution, poaching, global warming, waste, deforestation, then genetically modified organism seeds, then exhaustion of land resources, viruses, human population. These are the 10 dimensions you can say of the challenges that we need to look into when we are planning for environment in terms of regional development. So if you observe what are the impacts of water pollution, if you look into these kind of flow diagrams or infographics, you'll find it out. Urban and domestic usage leading to the pressure, ecosystem health, human health, industrial productivity, social values and tourism, agricultural productivity, commercial fisheries, property values, all of them have a significant linkage to water pollution if you observe carefully, right? Then if you observe acid rain, a very important phenomena that we have discussed in environmental geography as well. So acid rain, remember H2SO4 and HNO3 in certain areas leading to a lot of loss of life and property as well, loss of the forest areas and greeneries as well, right? Then if you observe waste management, a bigger challenge of regional development, especially urban development, right? So urban waste management is going to be a very big problem in future and it's already a big problem in several countries and several cities that we observe around us. Can you give me some example where urban waste is a problem? If you know it, comment in the box below, right? So waste reduction, waste recycling, Recycling, waste treatment and waste disposal. This is the method of management process that needs to be followed. Then if you observe climate change. Now this word is being a household term. Everybody talks about climate change, global warming. Whenever they feel the heat in summers, this year March had some extreme summer. So everybody talks about climate change. So it's getting bigger and it's getting common now. Right? So social and economic impact of this climate change has multiple dimensions which needs to be addressed while planning for region, isn't it? In terms of environment. So cost of adapting to coastal areas, if there is a sea level rise, then we have relocation 
of the towns and cities, shrinking productivity in harvesting, then pricing of basic food stuff and consumer goods, then we have extreme meteorological conditions, remember cloud burst and other events, then we have diseases outburst, then fresh water problems already in several parts of India and world and also wars which lead to the limitation of resources, resource scarcity, migration of people, right? And then pollution of environment and loss of the capacity to work due to heat. So these are all directly or indirectly linked to the same phenomena, the global phenomena called global climate change. And remember, anthropogenic global climate change is what we are talking about. Human induced changes in long term, which is going to be fatal for us, right? So in Paris Agreement also, we talked about that we need to move towards carbon neutrality. We need to move towards the economy, which is environment friendly, eco friendly. That's where we are talking about. So if you want to develop a region, regional development policies and plans must address these particular environmental issues. So now, when we have discussed various ideas related to environmental issues in regional planning, in the sessions to come, we'll be talking more on other aspects of regional planning and development. So stay tuned, stay safe, keep learning, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to share the videos with others as well.